everyone, it's Mel with the Quilting Room with Mel, and today we are doing a viewer requested video over the Necky Julia, and I'm pre-handing this right now, so you may see a little wobbling, um, but I'm going to have to get up pretty close to the machine so you guys can see what we're talking about. Uh, I had someone send me a message asking, how do I make my Necky Julia zigzag? And it is kind of in depth it's a little different than what we do on other machines so the first thing we need to do is set our stitch length and that's here so this is how how long our stitch is so if you want to do like a satin stitch you're going to go way way down if you're doing a, a a longer zigzag you know you can go higher i'm going to leave mine at a two it's kind of a long zigzag at two but it'll give you an idea of what it should look like the next place we go is up here this is actually the width of our zigzag that we use here and to do that we have to slide this over and then you you have to move the lever but if you notice if I move my lever over to three and let go it goes right back to zero and that's a straight stitch so what we have to do I'm trying to do this one-handed is slide this one over so then we can lock it in I have a four that's a pretty wide stitch I'll back it down to about a three two and a half three and then we slide that one back over to lock it now our machine will zigzag as long as our machine is in working order that's one of the bad things about the neckies they are so precisely engineered the tolerances are can be a little difficult uh, to get to work again if you've had a machine that's been sitting for a long time if that is the case if yours is not working the way it needs to be be sure to check out the how to oil my necky julia video that i have get it all oiled up you may have to let it sit and just keep working through the oil to get it loosened up if it's still not working even after that get a hold of me I have some tips and tricks for you to try so let's watch this machine zigzag and I apologize it's a little dark under here I've tried to get an auxiliary lamp uh, down so you can see my light bulb burn out on my Julia only 40 years after it was put in so pretty good timing on that you can see the video going, the needle going back and forth, making a zigzag. I'll slow it down so, I'll do it by hand so you can really see the, the needle go back and forth. Turn this around, and there is our zigzag. And it's just as easy as that, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to find me on social media, Homec with Mel. That'll get you Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below, and I'll see everybody next time. Bye, everyone.